What are you mumbling about? My coffee. Oh, this yeah. is probably the best coffee I've ever made, you know. And you look beautiful, my darling. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Mm, sleepy. Mm, relaxed and cozy. Oh, coffee smells good. Mm. You smell good, too. Mm. First problem of the day. <laughs> what? I want to make you breakfast, but I don't want to stop holding you, and I can't do both. Well, just hold me for a bit longer, then. Well, you're not hungry forever, if you like. <laughs> you know, coming here, getting away from it all, it's the best idea you've ever had. Maybe just I stop being stupid. Yeah. Why don't you sit down and have your juice, and then I'll start sorting our breakfast. Mm. Thank you. Well, you sit there nice and slowly, and after we've had a leisurely breakfast, then we can discuss our plans for the day. Well, give us a clue. You're really going to like these plans. Oh, yeah? What are they? Well, I thought you and I would... I'd like to do a little ice fishing. Is there any way that I can get out of this pre-wedding party that uh, Cheryl's throwing for Sean and Tiffany tonight? There is not. Uh, your Lordship, there's a telephone call for you. Oh, thank you, Jane. I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, so am I. I really can't believe that Sean Donnelly's finally gotten hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Ashton? This is Mr. Baker from Atlantic Investigations. Oh, good. You fellows are swift. What have you got for me? Colton Shore, while on R&R &R in Greece, had an affair with the present Lady Ashton. A detailed dossier will be delivered to you later today. Uh, are you sure about all that? We would never deliver such information without facts. Love us. Ashton, I'm at the Quartermains. I'd like to see you here right away. Yes, sir. Ashton. Listen, we better keep an eye on the time, all right? Good morning, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, and guess what? What? I'm excused from school today. Daddy fixed it up. Yeah. Oh, how are you at fixing parking tickets, old buddy? And you know why? Why? Well, me and Daddy are going to go and look for new places for Daddy to live. Hmm, right. Wherever my future takes me, I want you a part of it as much as possible. Okay? You've got me. Right. <laughs> yeah, and if Tiffany and I don't swing this wedding, you got me too. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even... Oh, my. Well, Mr. Baldwin, you know, without your beard, you almost look harmless. You know better than that. What is that? Tony's new will, and don't ask me how I got it. I don't care how you got it. It is absolutely wonderful that you got it. You are wonderful for Thank getting you. it. Thank you. You may not be too happy after you read it. Why? Because it's a new will, which means that Tony is worried about his health. Which is why you ought to be a little bit worried. Well, of course, I'm very, very worried about Tony's health. Oh, of course you're very worried about his health. Don't kid with me. Come on, why else should I be worried? If he's ill, he may not be around long enough for you to get your divorce settlement. What? You might have just blown it. Doing this to me. What do they call me in this thing? What's this phrase they use? 
A nuisance factor. Oh, a nuisance factor. Isn't that special? It's more of a human legal term. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this is happening. Read it again. Oh, this is good. One dollar. He's leaving me one stinking, lousy dollar. That's right. That's it. Even if you try and contest the will, it is death. Well, there's no way. There's absolutely no way they are going to get away. They're not going to do this to me. No way. Who, uh, who are they? Bobby. Bobby and Tony. You might want to lump Aunt Charlene in there, too, because uh, she's getting quite a bundle of money for being a, what is it, a confidant? Oh, yeah. Or a oh, yeah. Friend. You're right. She's trying to get everything she can get, and she's betrayed me, and I can't stand her for doing that. She's wormed her way into... It doesn't matter about her. It's Bobby I want. I want Bobby, Scott. What can I do? Hope that your husband doesn't die before you get your divorce settlement. Now is not the time to be funny. I'm not being funny. I'm just giving you a piece of advice. About, that's about all you can do in your situation. Don't tell me that, okay? Look at this. Look what Bobby Meyer is getting. Look at this. I know, I know. I read it, okay? She's getting a nice chunk of money for being BJ's guardian and manager to Tony's estate that's going to be left to his daughter. Yeah, but what about me? What about all the time I spent with his daughter? And don't you make a joke about it because it's not funny. I, I took very, very good care of her and I was wonderful to her. And whether you believe it or not, I actually did really care about her. I was very, very fond of her. I believe you. Every little girl likes nail polish remover mixed in with her pablum. <sighs> That was an accident. You know, I, I took care of her, and it was hard, hard work, and, and I, I really was very sweet to her. You have a lot of nice qualities. You bet I do. Because I have so many mean enemies, I just don't get to show the good side of me. Well, turn around, and let's have a look at it then. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> you know, I have been honest with you and, and shown you my good side sometimes. I know. And I'm very flattered by it. Well, don't forget I have one. Oh, I will never forget that. I'll probably never see it again, though. <sighs> Well, you know something? There is no way Bobby Meyer is a fit mother. No way in hell. At this moment, she's living a shameless existence. Gregory is out. She's getting some sort of a civilized divorce from Jake. Okay, okay. There has got to be a way that we can stop this will, all right? Let's just think. Maybe we can, um, dredge up something from her past. That's it. What if they dredged up your past? Skip the past. Um... We can come up with something today, today. Okay, the dishes are in the dishwasher and everything is done. Good. Well, we're due to make this real estate woman this morning, so why don't you hop up and get your jacket? It's a bit cool out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to uh, hug it all and coming over here tonight to, uh, to be with her. Oh, good. That means you're going to be at Cheryl's party, right? <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm going to be the best man at all. I guess it might put a damper on things if I didn't turn up. Mm. Who else is going to be there? To start with, the Quartermains and their house guests. The Ashtons. And Ashton's son. Well, they're hardly all friends. Actually, it was my idea. Are you sure Tiff isn't trying to pick up a title? No, no, no. I'm interested in something that Lord Ashton's involved in. Uh-huh. You've got that buccaneer look in your beady eye again. Hmm? Oh, that's so. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, love. Let's go. Okay. Bye, baby. See you later. Okay. And, uh... Watch your step. What's to watch? That look in your eye. Lila, I still don't understand how you allowed yourself to get talked into holding uh, Sean and Tiffany's wedding here at the house. I didn't get talked into it at all. I offered them our house after Tiffany's plans fell through. Now, was she really serious about having a wedding in the park at this time of the year? You bet. Mm -hmm. At least we're not going to get pneumonia now we have it here. <laughs> yes, I, would. I have already bought long johns just for the wedding. <laughs> to answer your question, my dear, yes, she probably was quite serious. She's a very peculiar woman. Oh, okay. What's the expression they use today? Uh, kook. Uh, kook, that's it. <laughs> we have to go to work, Alan. Yes, so we do. I thought the bride's father was supposed to throw the wedding. Do you suppose I could send him the bills? Oh, don't be so stingy, Edward. <laughs> Sean and I are old friends. Uh, you know, he's uh, my partner in the Pickle Isla business. Uh, I, I beg your pardon? Oh, it's, uh, it's an old family recipe for pickle relish. Mother has become independently wealthy with us. Oh, really? <laughs> well, we have to go to work. <clears throat> yes, we'll see you at the party. Oh. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Even money says your father tries to talk lightly into paying for the wedding. You're going to have to give me better odds than that, young lady. I've got two problems. Well, in this day and age, that's a miracle. Yeah. I don't have any wheels to work, and my phone's out of order. 
Well, listen, you can, uh, you can call from the hospital. Uh, and if you're leaving now, Monica... Well, listen, I'm going right now. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Well, how are you doing? What brings you here? Hello, Paul. Well, I've been uh, Hi, summoned by my employer. Hello. Oh, yeah? Well, they're in the living room. No, they aren't. Here we are right now. Oh, <laughs> good morning. Well, we have to get going. We'll see you tonight, though, at Cheryl's party, won't we? Sure will. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Was that Colton's voice I heard out there? Yes, it is. I sent for him. Well, if you'll excuse me. No. No? Shall I go into the uh, living room to find our guests eating, 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 <clears throat> eating? Look, if this is business, I'm sure you don't want me here. But I do. <clears throat> Claude Ashton, look, if this is about the other night, it is. I, wanna... I wanted to apologize for my behavior. Apologize? I have this most appalling temper, which flares up from time to time, that it should have done so when I was so completely in the wrong is uh, inexcusable. Nonetheless, I'm asking you to accept my apology. Sure, apology accepted, thank you. My darling? You're very sweet, Lawrence, of course I accept. <laughs> One of the penalties for having a lovely wife. Lovely, young wife. You don't have to say another word. Perhaps you'd like a cup of coffee? No, thank you. Well, I... Uh, well, at least you'll have... join us while we finish ours. Sure, thank you. Lady Go Ashton. Ahead. Yes? A telephone. Oh, um, excuse me. Well, Colton, how about driving me down to the slip? I'd like to see what uh, progress is being made with the Aphrodite. Okay, fine. Hello? Lady Ashton. Yes? You are to stand by for a meeting with Darius, either this afternoon or this evening. I can't possibly meet with him this evening. We're going to a party. You must stand by for orders. Where can you be reached this evening if necessary? I don't have the phone number there. Get it and call me back as soon as possible on your contact number. I... Colton and I are off down to the dry dock. Who was that on the phone? Uh, it was my dressmaker calling about a fitting. Ah, jolly good. Yeah. Shall we? To you. Bye. Bye. If you don't mind writing it, you can go.